right, so today's class is gonna be a 60 minute slow flow deep stretch class. So we will be um, doing standing postures and we'll be flowing. Um, it's just gonna be at a, a little bit of a gentler pace. So you have the opportunity to get in and out of the postures with ease and, um, and we'll do some <clears throat> longer holds in some of our standing postures and then in our deep stretch portion of class we'll do significantly longer holds than we typically do in our, our vinyasa flow class. <clears throat> um, we're gonna be focusing or have an emphasis today on pigeons. So lots of hip opening. So if you do have a block and pigeon is um, challenging for you and tight hips, you can always use your block. I'll just show you how to use it. And we're gonna start with a um, three minute seated silent meditation and then we'll be coming down onto our backs, okay? So come into a comfortable seat. If you do have tight hips, please sit on a block and just place it under your hips. <clears throat> you can have the <clears throat> feet one in front of the other. You can bring your feet into half lotus or full lotus if you'd like. <clears throat> you can sit on your shins if you like. Just any position where you can keep your spine upright. Okay. So go ahead and sit up tall, close your eyes. You can rest the hands on the knees in any hand position you like. You could take a mudra. You can take gyan mudra or dhyani mudra. You can rest the palms face up, face down. Anything else that you'd like, close the eyes. I'll just guide you into our breath and then we'll just sit in silence. So let's all take an open mouth exhale together. Inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top and exhale through the mouth. And one more, inhale through the nose, hold it at the top, maybe a little extra sip of air. When you're ready, let it go through the mouth. Close the lips, inhale and exhale through the nose. Right away, drop into our ujjayi breath. Breath becomes audible by gently constricting the back of the throat. Jaw stays relaxed. Let the sound of your own breath calm you and center you and ground you. Let the sound of your breath guide your presence onto your mat letting go of any external distractions, any thoughts about the rest of the day. One more full deep breath. <clears throat> Open the eyes and then just turn on your mat and lay down. Have the legs bent so knees are facing up. 
Bring your arms into goal post, palms are gonna face up. And then just windshield wiper the legs, so rock them side to side. Next time you come to the right, <clears throat> release the knees to the right and hold. Look to the left and breathe deeply into the belly for this spinal twist. Three breaths. Fill the belly as you inhale, let it expand. And then as you exhale, draw the belly button back toward the spine. So just be very active in your breath, bringing it all the way deep down into the belly. Avoiding getting it stuck in the chest. Last inhale. Exhale, come back through center on your inhale. And then exhale, release your knees to the left. Gaze to the right. Focus on your deep belly breathing. Inhale, fill and expand. Exhale, contract your core. Two more, inhale. Come back through center, and then we're gonna take our first pigeon of our class, so reclined pigeon. You're gonna take your right knee, or your right ankle over your left knee, lift your left foot off the floor, interlace your hands either around the back of your thigh or the back of your shin. Keep your shoulders and hips flat to the floor. Pull your left knee in, and then press your right knee open toward the front of your mat. Keeping the right leg where it is, go ahead and extend your left leg up toward the sky and take your hands behind your thigh if it's not already. Flex and point your left foot two more times and then circles in both directions and then switch directions. And release left foot to the floor, right foot stamps to the floor, left foot crosses over right knee, lift your right foot off the floor and then interlace hands either around the back of your thigh or your shin. Draw the right knee in and then press your left knee toward the front of your mat, getting a stretch in your left hip and glute. <clears throat> And then keeping the left foot right where it is, extend your right leg up toward the sky, hands behind the back of the thigh, flex and point your right foot. Two more times. And circles in both directions. And switch directions. And then pull both knees into the chest for Apanasana. Keep your hips and shoulders on the floor. Reach opposite hand toward opposite wrist or opposite elbow. Find, find a deep compression in both of your hips. Press your low back and your tailbone down toward the floor to the best of your ability. Get a nice tight squeeze and take one more breath. Relax the grip on your knees, hold the knees with both hands if you're not already, and then just roll the length of the spine three times. Little massage for your spinal cord, nice and slow. Last time, all the way back, all the way forward, and then come into tabletop position. Take your shoulders right over your wrists, your hips right over your knees, spread your fingers wide, press into the palms of your hands, and start making your way through some cats and cows. So as you inhale, release the belly down, lift through the crown of the head and the tailbone, and as you exhale, round, draw the tailbone down, lift and separate shoulder blades, look toward navel center, back and forth, inhale, Nice and slow, try and make your breath, your inhale and your exhale as long, slow and steady as possible. 
and make your movement match your breath. So again, a long, slow, steady movement. Everyone's pace is gonna be different. Exhale, round into cat, and then on your next inhale, return to tabletop position. Take your right foot off to the right. <clears throat> Align your right heel behind your right toes, left hand on the floor. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Look up toward your fingertips if you feel balanced. And then we're gonna take a half bind. So reach your right arm all the way around toward your left hip. Open through your right shoulder. And again, gaze can come up toward the sky. If you'd like to take a neck stretch and it is no strain on your neck, go ahead and slowly release your left ear toward your left shoulder. Press your right shoulder down and back to increase the stretch along the right side of your neck. Only if that feels good and comfortable. And then align your head again with your spine. Reach your right arm up and release back to the floor. Keep your right leg where it is, tuck your left toes under, bring your left hip towards your left hip heel and walk your hands forward. Release your forehead down toward the floor, stretching through your shoulders, stretching through your right inner thigh. Take another full inhale. Exhale. Press it back up. And bring your left foot to the left, align your heel behind your toes so you're going to get a stretch to your left ankle and then reach that right arm or sorry your left arm up and look up toward the fingertips if you feel balanced we'll move from here into a half bind so start to reach your left hand towards your right hip maybe you grip onto your shirt maybe your pants maybe all the way around onto your leg it's going to be different for everyone now, if you'd like the neck stretch and there's no strain, very slowly and gently release your right ear toward your right shoulder. Press your left shoulder down and back to increase the stretch in your on the left side of your neck. Now, align your head with your spine again. So if your ear is down, lift it. Left arm up, release back down to the floor. Keep your left leg is as it is. Tuck your right toes under. Press your hip back toward your heel. Walk your hands forward like you're doing child's pose. So just getting that shoulder stretch as well as the inner thigh stretch, as well as the stretch to the bottom of the, your right foot. Take another full breath. And then walk your hands back up, bring your knee in. And from here, we're just gonna kick the left foot to the left and extend the right foot to the back of your mat. So you're gonna be facing sideways. Good. And then come into modified side plank. So lift that right arm up. Good, now extend your right arm forward toward the front of your mat. Take a nice deep breath into your right ribs, your right lung. Good, extend your arm back up toward the sky and then lift your right foot off the floor. Hold it here for three and two and one and release and switch sides. So kick your right foot to the right, extend your left foot to the back of your mat, right hand to the floor, lift your left arm straight up toward the sky. Make sure that your right shoulder is right over your right wrist and then extend that left arm forward toward the front of your mat. Breathe into your left lung, breathe into your left ribs. Feel the ribs lift and expand as you inhale. Exhale. Lift your left arm straight back up toward the sky and lift your left foot off the floor. Hold it here, press through the ball of your foot. Take one more inhale and release back to tabletop position. Tuck all 10 toes under. Lift the hips high up and back and come into downward facing dog. 
align the feet with the hips, heels disappearing behind the toes. Neck is nice and long. Continue to breathe deeply for three more breaths in Downward Facing Dog. Substitution or modification for Downward Facing Dog is child's pose. You can always come here when we hold Downward Facing Dog. Take one more breath. Lift your right leg high. Open your hip and bend your leg. Keep that right shoulder in line with the left. Keep that right knee lifting up and your right toes coming down. Square off the hip, straighten through that right leg, and then bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Good. Release your left knee down onto the floor. Expand, press your chest forward, lift through the crown of your head. Squeeze your right knee toward your right shoulder. Good. And then from here, keep your left hand planted on the floor, bend your left leg and take your right hand and reach around for your left foot. Find a twist, so open through your right shoulder. Look back towards your right toe or your left toes if you can. And release. Go ahead and heel toe your right foot back towards center and then find half splits pose. So straighten through your right leg and forward fold, right forehead toward right knee. And now flex your foot back towards your face, stretching through your Achilles tendon, your calf and the back of your hamstring. One more breath. and come back forward to low lunge. Lift that back knee off the floor. And on the inhale, come to standing splits. So step onto your right foot, lift your left foot off the, your left leg off the floor, align your hips, five toes pointing down toward the floor, head is heavy. Maybe you can play with your balance, maybe one or both hands wrapping around your right ankle for the bind. You can always use a block for support if your hands don't comfortably reach the floor. And bring your left foot to meet your right and come into for standing forward fold. So feet are aligned right underneath the hips and bend your knees a lot. Rest your torso on top of your thighs and then lift your heels one at a time and slide your hand underneath your heel. So your fingers are gonna point toward your toes. You're gonna cup your heel with the palm of your hand. Okay, so get a nice good grip here. Try to keep your torso sandwiched on your thighs and your elbows behind your knees. You might stay right where you are or if you can, start to straighten through your legs. So this is a deep hamstring stretch but it's also working toward elongating our spine. So even though the arms are working, try not to hunch the shoulders by the ears, but keep them drawn away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Release the hands out from underneath the heels. Come up to a halfway lift monkey pose, Ardha Uttanasana, extending through the crown of the head, shoulders pulled away from the ears. You can always use a block if the hands don't comfortably reach the floor, working toward one straight line from the crown of your head all the way to your tailbone. And then forward fold, release all the way down. With a flat back, sweeping the arms off to the side, reaching through the fingertips, come all the way up to tall mountain. 
So reach the arms up overhead and circle your left wrist with your right hand and then side bend to the right. Keep your shoulder and hip in one line and really actively reach through the left fingertips. You can even use the strength of your right arm to increase the stretch so you can get really active here. On the next inhale, come back through center and switch out the grip. So left hand comes around right wrist, side bend to the left. And again, actively reach with your right fingertips and pull with your left hand. Keep that right shoulder in line with the right hip. Your quads are engaged, belly is engaged. Come back through center. And then exhale, bring both hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. On the inhale, expand the chest, press the fists down, press the palms and the hands together. And then as we exhale, hinge at the hips forward, fold with chest expansion. Come all the way down. Once again, press the palms of the hands towards one another. It's okay if they're not touching, just stay really active here in this stretch <clears throat> for your chest. Take one more breath, inhale, exhale. As you release your hands, inhale up to chair pose. So sit your hips low, lift your arms high, lower your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your wrists in line with your shoulders, your hips in line with your knees, in line with your ankles. Bring all of your weight back toward your heels so that you can wiggle your toes. Take one more inhale and then exhale forward fold. Come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, monkey. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Align your heels and your ankles with your hips and try to avoid sagging through your hips or lifting too high. Find one long line from the crown of your head back through your heels. Modification for plank pose is always to place your knees on the floor. Take one more inhale here and then slowly lower down. Keep your elbows drawn in toward your ribs. Shift slightly forward so your shoulders come past your wrists. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. We're gonna take three rounds of Cobra. So low lift Cobra, inhale on our first one. Keep the elbows in, just peel the chest right off the floor. And then exhale, roll down. Move your hands back about an inch and then inhale medium lift cobra lift up a little bit higher maybe past the belly button if you can elbows stay in and then very slowly roll all the way down move your hands back so they're in line with your rib cage and then inhale very slowly peel up maybe towards straight arms just try and avoid locking out your elbows and you can always stay as low as you want and then very slowly lower down. Tuck your toes under, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and then tabletop or plank your choice to come all the way back up toward downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, take your left leg high, open your hip, bend your leg. Bring that left shoulder in line with the right shoulder. Knee is lifting up, toes reaching down, right heel reaching toward the floor. Inhale, square off the hips, straighten that leg. And then exhale, bring your left knee or your left foot to the outside of your left hand. So a wide legged low lunge. <clears throat> so first let's press our chest forward, lift through the crown of the head. So you have that nice expansion, one long line from the head all the way to the heel. And then from here, we'll just release that right knee down toward the floor. You're gonna squeeze your left knee in toward your left shoulder. Stay really active here so you can feel your inner thigh working. And then bend your right leg, keep your right hand on the floor, Lift, reach your left hand around for your right foot. And then we're gonna turn this into a twist. So you're actually gonna rotate your left shoulder open, look back toward your left toes or your right toes Keep squeezing your left knee in so you're active in your inner thigh. <clears throat> Couple more breaths. And gently release your right foot down toward the floor. 
and heel toe your left foot back towards center. And then straighten out through that left leg so we'll get a nice hamstring stretch here. Forward fold over your left leg, forehead toward left knee. And then from here, flex your left toes back toward your face. Last exhale here. and then come forward, low lunge. <clears throat> standing onto the left foot, lift that right leg high for standing splits. Look back toward the back of your mat. Look at your right toes. Keep your hips level. Alignment looks really nice. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, left foot meets right. All right, this time we're going to take gorilla pose, so kind of opposite here with the hands. We're gonna now lift our toes one at a time, or our feet, slide the hands under. So now your fingers are pointing toward your heels and your toes are in your wrist creases. Working towards straight legs, it's okay if they're not straight. And then if they are straight and you wanna go deeper, just start to pull the elbows off to either sides of your mat. And once again, same as before, even though your arms are working and active, keep your neck loose. You should be able to wobble your head and keep your shoulders away from your ears. So avoid any hunching and crunching. <clears throat> Take one more full breath here. Release your hands out from underneath your feet. Inhale, halfway lift monkey. Exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, with a flat back, rise all the way up to standing. Okay, we're gonna flow. So right hand is gonna come down your right leg and you're gonna side bend to the right. Inhale back through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Left hand's gonna slide down that left leg. And again, at your own pace, but make it smooth and flowing with the pace of your breath, so match a nice smooth and steady breath to a nice smooth and steady movement as we sway side to side, warming up the spine. Keep your core engaged as you come back and forth. Try not to collapse into your side. And we'll take one more on each side. We'll meet back at Tall Mountain at center. And then exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, Tall Mountain. And then exhale, hinging at the hips, come forward all the way to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, plank pose, inhale. And this time, optional chaturanga, exhale. Modification, knees to the floor, still hinge forward and slowly lower down. Inhale is upward facing dog, low lift or high lift cobra, and then exhale back to downward facing dog. We're gonna do three rounds of sun salutation. It's gonna be breath to movement. It's meant to warm the body, but we'll just take it at a nice slow pace. So inhale, look forward. Step or float to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. With your inhale at your pace, rise up, tall mountain. Maybe look up. Exhale, come all the way back down, hinging at the hips, reaching through the fingertips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Exhale, your variation, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, step or float forward. Exhale, release to forward fold. 
Inhale, tall mountain, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Really nice pace, everyone. Taking our time. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Come forward on your inhale. So you know these sun salutations. Try to make it a moving meditation. You know where you're going. Your body's been here before. So just try to get out of your head and into your body. Really fully present in the movement as it relates to the breath, monkey. Forward fold. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take your right leg high. Exhale, bring knee to nose. See if you can hold it here for two more breaths. See if you can make contact. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Good, now look past your hands. Step your foot between your hands. Really nice transitions, you guys. All right, slowly rise up to crescent lunge. Good, right away, settle into the pose. Continue with your deep breathing. Good, really nice alignment with your tailbone. Very good. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open it up to the side. And again, sink right in. Soft gaze, soft, smooth, and steady breath. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge, all the way down. Good, keep your left knee off the floor. Straighten through your right leg for pyramid pose. Forward fold over your right leg. Draw your left hip forward and your right hip back and squeeze your inner thighs toward one another. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. We're gonna get into a triangle from here. So what you're gonna do is plant your left heel on the floor, bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. If you need it, put it on a block. Or you can put your right hand on your shin, just not a lot of weight, and then lift your left arm up toward the sky. So one long line from your crown of your head toward your tailbone. Try to avoid any hunching over left shoulder to the floor and instead lift and elongate. Gaze can be at your toes or up towards your fingertips. Just keep your head in line with the spine. Legs are active. All right, lift through your left fingertips nice and slow. Lift your right fingertips off the floor if they're not, not already and then very slowly come all the way up. Five pointed stars, your inhale. 
Actively reach through the fingertips, lift through the chest, draw the tailbone down, engage through your core. Good. And then bring your hands to your heart and sink down into your hips, bending your knees. Prayer squat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hands to your knees, thumbs face in. Dip your left shoulder in, look to the right. Soft bend in your elbows. Sink further into your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Come back through center. Dip your right shoulder in, look to the left. Inhale. Exhale. And then come back to center. Bring your hands back to your heart. Rise up, five-pointed star. And then breath to movement. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same leg. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. So we're gonna be here. If the hip is really, really tight and this is very uncomfortable, you can take your block and set it underneath your right hip so you're supported and both hips are, can stay level and squared. And a nice tall spine. Really using the muscles along your spine to lift and pull you back and up. And then come all the way down. Resting your hands, your forehead, on your hands, maybe a block. If that's too much, you can bring your block upright. You can make fists, rest your hands on your fists. So lots of options. Close your eyes, settle into your breath. up onto the hands, tuck your back toes under, and step back to downward facing dog. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, one more. Left leg lifts, bring left left knee to nose and hold it. See if you can make contacts. You're gonna find a really nice crunch. This is our core work for today. Take another breath, inhale, exhale. Look forward past your hands and see if you can do it without dragging. Set your left foot between your hands. It's a challenging move. Very slowly, like you're moving through molasses, start to come all the way up.
Good, and then settle into your crescent lunge. Get low in that leg. Draw the tailbone down. Lift through the fingertips. Keep that heel nice and high. This looks really nice. Nice strong quad. Working your leg in the direction of straight, but keeping your pelvis neutral. Relaxing those shoulders, but staying strong and active through the arms. A really nice extension, beautiful. Take an inhale, and then exhale, plant your heel on the floor and move into warrior two, nice and slow. Sink down, good, and then begin to open the knee toward the left pinky toe. Keep your jaw soft and your breath nice and smooth and flowing. Reaching in opposite directions with your hands. Inhale, exhale, low lunge, come all the way down. Straighten through your left leg to get a nice stretch here in pyramid pose, extended pyramid pose. Draw your left hip back and your right hip forward. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another as we reach the forehead down toward the toes. In this variation of pyramid pose, the right heel does stay lifted off the floor and the stance is nice and long. A little easier to square the hips here. Just focus on that hamstring stretch in the left side. And then we'll move from this position into triangle pose. So just place the right foot on, or the right heel on the floor. Move the left hand to the inside of the left foot. If you prefer, you can keep it on the outside. Block, shin, or come up onto your fingertips. Lift that right arm high as you start to open through your chest. Extend through the crown of your head. And once again, try to avoid any falling forward of that right shoulder. Keep it lifted and stacked. It's gonna take some core strength. And if it's too much with the hand on the floor, you just start to lift up. Take two more breaths here. Use your core to start to lift the left fingertips off the floor if they're not already, and then rise all the way up, five-pointed star. Reach through the fingertips, toes are gonna face out, right in line with the heels. Lift through your chest, lift your fingertips up, and then this time we're gonna come into goddess pose. So bring your arms to 90 degrees, sink into your hips, palms are gonna face each other. Good. Yeah, get low. There you go. Nice. Two more breaths. five-pointed star and bring your heels behind your toes hinge at the hips reach through the fingertips come all the way down prasrita pato tanasana standing straddle splits take your peace fingers wrap them around your big toes start to pull your elbows off to the side and your forehead toward the floor look back between your legs again using your arms but no tension in your neck or shoulders Avoid hunching your shoulders as you use your arms. Keep your legs engaged and take two more breaths. On the inhale, Slowly rise all the way up, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. 
sink low, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your knees and chins to the mat. Bring your knees wide. Tops of the feet flat to the floor. Extend to child's pose. Press your hips back. Release your forehead. Keep your right arm extended. Slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto left shoulder and left ear. Extend your left arm. Slide your right arm underneath your left. Come onto right shoulder and right ear. Extend your right arm long. Press your hips back. Come back into downward facing dog. Lift your left leg, so same leg. Half pigeon on the other side. Get your body in a comfortable position where you can hold the pose, but you still feel the stretch. Find a nice tall spine. Activate through your muscles along your spine. So as you lift and pull your chest back, you might even be able to lift your hands off the floor just so you can feel your back working. Okay, and then we'll come into resting pigeon, bringing your, hand, your forehead toward your hands or a block or your fists. Settle into your deep ujjayi breath. back up onto your hands and tuck your back toes under and step back downward facing dog lift your heels high bring your knees to hover right over the mat look forward towards your hands and then come forward into plank pose from here lower down onto your belly and then spread your feet to about mat distance apart Reach your arms back and palms face down towards your heels. And then on your inhale, lift everything off the floor. Try to touch your heels with your fingertips so you're really actively reaching back as you lift your chest. Press through the balls of your feet. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Maybe a little more height on your inhale. And exhale and release. Right ear to the mat and rest.
bring your chin to your to your mat zip up your legs tops of the feet flat to the floor bring your arms forward find arrow mudra with your hands interlace your fingers release your index fingers cross your thumbs keep your biceps by your ears your head in line with your spine lift everything off the floor Two more breaths. And release, left ear to the mat, rest. up come all the way through to a seat bring your left shin parallel to the front of your mat and then stack your right shin on top of your left so your right ankle is going to come to your left knee and then your right knee is going to come toward your left ankle now this might look like this for you and that's fine we're working into the pose what we're eventually working toward is stacking the shins. If it doesn't feel like too much strain, you're welcome to use your hand to assist your knee in pressing down toward your ankle or your heel. Keep both sitting bones grounded on the floor. Again, if you have tight hips, this is a great place for a block, a little more height there, okay? Now, if you're really open in the hips and want more of a stretch, this doesn't feel like too much, you can always come forward. We want to keep the toes in line with the heel. So you're gonna basically be flexing that foot back. Try to avoid rolling the ankle. So stay really active in those feet. And then stay lifted through your spine, good. Okay. Take five more breaths, sit up. Okay, you're gonna take your right knee to your left heel and your right shin parallel to the side of your mat, like so. Good. You can feel free to stay up on your block if you want to, you don't have to. A little different stretch in your hip. Okay, so first we're gonna twist. So bring your left hand to your left heel and your right hand out behind. Try to keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Looking out over your back shoulder. All right, now unwind. You're gonna take your left hand behind your left hip. And you're just gonna lift your hips off the floor. Reach your arm up or back. Press your hips forward, open your chest, open your throat. Good, and then come all the way back down. Bring your right leg forward and bring your left foot to your right hip. All right, if this is too much for half lotus on this side, you can bring your left foot to your right inner thigh. Get active in your right leg, toes straight up, quad engaged. We're gonna take a forward fold first. So inhale, arms up overhead, and then reach your hands around your foot. If they don't reach your foot, no worries. Just take them to your thigh, this floor, shin, So you're probably gonna feel, if you're forward folding all the way down, your heel in your gut, 
that's not a bad thing, okay? A little massage for your internal organs. And release, and we'll take it one more twist in the opposite direction now. So right hand to left knee, left hand out behind. You can take your left hand around for your left toes if they reach or if you have a strap, or you can just place it on the floor for support. Try to keep your shoulders stacked right over your hips. Good adjustment, Spencer, looks really good. Keep that chin coming toward your left shoulder. Just like we did at the beginning of class in our twists, find some deep belly breaths. Unwind. Okay, we'll take those postures on the other side. So this time we're gonna bring our right shin parallel to the front of our mat. Our left shin is working towards stacking on top of our right, okay? So first you'll bring your left heel to your right knee, and then you're gonna work your left knee, or your left heel to your right knee, toward your right heel. Okay, so you can gently press that left knee down if it doesn't feel like strain. Good, looks really nice. Make that adjustment with the toes in front of the heels. Try and avoid the uh, foot sickling in. And then sit up tall. So both sitting bones are evenly grounded on the floor. And then the shoulders are right over the hips. Close your eyes, five breaths. And again, if this doesn't feel like an opening, you can forward fold over your legs to get deeper into the hips. We're gonna take our left knee to our right heel and our shin is gonna come parallel to the side of the mat. So continue flexing the feet in the same fashion you were. Okay, so you want your toes pointing toward the side of your mat. To the best of your ability, get your sitting bones to the floor. And then you're gonna take your left hand, or your right hand to your right heel. Your left hand's gonna come out behind and you're gonna look out over your left shoulder. All the way back. Take your right hand behind your right hip. I'm just gonna get a nice chest opener. Lift your hips up. Should feel like a nice release for your hips after that twist. Maybe gently releasing the head back, opening through your throat. Pressing your hips forward toward the front of your mat. and slowly release. Good, that one feels so nice and expansive. Then you're gonna bring your left foot forward. You have two choices, half lotus with your right foot to your left hip, or you can bring your right foot to your left inner thigh. Get really active here in your left leg, quad is engaged, toes pointing up. And we'll take it to the forward fold first. So extend both arms up overhead so you have a nice long spine as you come forward. And then we'll reach toward your foot or whatever you can reach and connect to. Okay, if you're forward folded all the way over, you might feel your heel digging in to your belly. That's not a bad thing.
release from the fold and we'll take it to a twist going in the opposite direction. So left hand to right knee, right hand out behind or reaching toward the right toes. Keep the shoulders stacked over the hips and start to look out over the right shoulder. Deep belly breaths here. Release from the twist. One final hip stretch. We're gonna bring the soles of our feet together for butterfly, Baddha Konasana. Bring your heels in, hands around your ankles, and then elbows toward the knees as we hinge forward with a long spine, reaching the crown of the head forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. Place your feet flat to the floor and then lower down onto the back. Bring your arms to goal post once you get down on your back. Bring your feet to mat distance a wide and then just rock back and forth, right and left, right. And then just one more on each side. Come to the right, hold it. Inhale. Exhale. One more full belly breath. Up through center to the left, hold it, inhale, exhale, one more, and back through center, knees to chest, tug it in tight. Shavasana when you're ready. the feet fall open, Let the palms face up, fingers relax. Just loosen through the toes and the fingers by wiggling them and then working toward a nice long neck, soft jaw. Start to bring awareness back into the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling the wrists and the ankles. Bring the arms overhead for a full stretch. Making your way onto your side. Taking this last final moment here on our mats to acknowledge our practice. Give thanks for this time, this space, and this day. Set an intention as we move forward off of our mat and into our day, bringing with us this sense of calm, peace, connection, presence. Slowly come up to a seat. Bring hands to the heart. We'll take a final breath together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Take 
Okay, as you go forward, you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste.